Good morning. It's Monday, January 10th, 2022. I'm Rudy. I'm Antonio. I'm Nevea. And I'm Bailey. And this is J Town, J -Town Update. Update. Good morning, Panthers. There will be new tardy policies in effect starting in the second semester, which is only a few weeks away. Coming back to school after home learning took some getting used to. Now that we have almost completed the first semester and everybody is settled in, it's time to be on time. In the second semester, teachers will be closing the doors at the bell and we will start issuing detentions if you aren't in your class when the bell rings. If you do not serve your detentions, privileges like sports, school performances, walking during graduation, dances, and other events will be taken away. The best way to avoid detention and taking away school privileges is to get to class on time every time. You have a few weeks practice setting your alarms, arranging transportation, and walking fast and with purpose. Show your Panther pride and make punctuality a part of your routine. Here is this week's schedule. Today, teachers, there is a pathway meeting at 3 p.m. Also at 3 p.m. today, boys JV basketball at Lakewood, boys soccer at Wilson, girls JV basketball at Jordan, and girls soccer versus Lakewood. At 5 p.m., girls varsity basketball plays at Lakewood. At 6 p.m., Boys Frosh Soft Basketball plays at Jordan. And at 6.30 p.m., Boys Varsity Basketball play at Lakewood. Here's what's going on on Tuesday. There is an instructional leadership team meeting at 3 p.m. and ELEC meeting at 6 p.m. At 4.30 p.m., JV Girls Soccer plays at Poly. And at 6 p.m., Varsity Girls Soccer play at Poly. Here's what's going on on Wednesday. There is a JPAC meeting at 6 p.m. and a PTA meeting at 6.30 p.m. At 3 p.m., boys JV basketball plays at Millican, boys soccer plays at Jordan, girls JV basketball plays at Jordan, and girls water polo plays at Jordan. At 5 p.m., girls varsity basketball play at Millican. At 6 p.m., boys frosh soft basketball plays at Jordan. And at 6.30 p.m., boys varsity basketball plays at Millican. Here's what's going on on Thursday. There's a school site council meeting at 3 p.m. Also at 3 p.m., girls soccer versus Compton at Jordan, girls water polo at Cerritos Park, and wrestling at Jordan. And Friday, boys soccer plays at Jordan at 3 p.m. And now for the news. There are five pathways at Jordan, Leaps, Ace, JMAC, IB, and Ames. Each week we will spotlight what our pathways are up to. Let's get things started with our weekly Ames health tip. Are you exercising any right? Are you staying healthy? A strong mind and body are keys to success. Our AIMS Academy is committed to helping us reach our physical and mental health goals. Today's AIMS health tip is... My name is Priscilla Tepete. I am part of the AIMS program. And today we're going to talk about why is nutrition important. Do you know eating three times a day is important to you and your body system? It's mostly important in the morning. It can help you with your brain function, memory, better mood, weight loss, strong bones, and teeth. Healthy eating habits and physical activity can help you get over the risk of obesity. But what happens if you have a poor nutrition? Due to a long consequence like adult weight, stress, tiredness, and a risk of developing an illness, what can you do to avoid these consequences? Well, first, you have to eat three times a day. But what does a plate look like? Well, one half of the plate is vegetables and fruits. One fourth of the plate is grains, the whole grains. And one fifth of the plate is protein, a serving dairy. Eating a variety of foods that can give you nutrients you need to maintain your health, feel good, and have energy. Nutrition is important for you, everyone. And here are the resources if you'd like to look for more. Thank you so much for your time. Here's a message from our IB pathway about depression. Depression. What is depression? Depression is a serious medical illness that affects the way you feel, the way you think, and how you act. Depression makes you feel sad and has you lose interest in activities that you would typically enjoy. What are some symptoms of depression? Depression can affect your mood, behavior, your whole body, the way you think, 
How to avoid depression? You can avoid depression by avoiding stressful situations that aren't quite necessary, by getting the right amount of sleep, because studies show that too little or too much sleep can worsen the symptoms of depression. And if you have someone you're comfortable with, make sure to reach out and talk about your feelings, because I can assure you, you are not alone. Studies show that male deaths make up almost 80% of all suicide deaths. LGBT people are three times more likely to attempt suicide than any heterosexual kid. So make sure that no matter your identity, no matter who you are, no matter how you identify, to reach out. Because you are not alone. National Suicide Prevention Hotline 1-800-273-8255 Again, that's 1-800-273-8255. Next up, Officer Romero and his students in our LEAPS Academy will demonstrate how to process fingerprints on a vehicle. The best print you can lift off of this car. It can be anywhere in the car. Most likely where the door handle, the glass, where the suspect could have touched, you want to print. To join in on the Pathway Fund, contact Coach Carol for ideas on how to incorporate your projects into J-Town Update. Elbow Lair Club is changing their meeting day from Wednesdays to Tuesdays. Please join us in room 8203 Miss Arroyo or 8101 Miss Sandoval on Tuesdays. Panthers, it's time for our weekly question. Our J-Town Update crew will be around campus asking this week's question or you can submit your answers in video or text by going to bit.ly slash jtuqotw. Again, that's bit.ly slash jtuqotw. We received some great answers to last week's question. Last week's question was... What trend are you tired of? This week's question is... If animals could talk, which animal would be the most annoying? You can appear on J-Town Update by submitting a video or text at the link below or talking to one of us. Teachers, club sponsors, ASB students, athletes, and interested Panthers, do you have a message to send? 
If you would like your message to appear on JTown Update or our Screw Marquee or our social media platform, fill out the media request form by going to bit.ly slash JTU form. Again, that's bit.ly slash JTU form. This is a great way to announce club activities, special events, and projects. So remember, Panthers, get out to see those games, support your classmates, show your Panther pride, and give your all in the classroom. Because that's how we make it happen at Jordan High School. Until next time, have a great week, and, and go, go Panthers! Panthers.